Chapter 3, Turning the Tide After about a year after the events of RA4, the war with the United Bunny Federation has now entered its second year. Despite heavy losses, Emperor Wilhelm von Jürgen remains confident that the Empire will prevail over its enemies. In a speech last week, he said, The sacrifices we make today will pave the way to a glorious future for the Empire. We here at Imperial Fox News agree. Once the Federation is defeated, there will be nothing stopping us from taking our rightful place at the head of the galaxy. Finally, a reminder to all males to register for Imperial Census at, by the end of the month. Every fox has their duty to the Empire. Remember to do yours. Glory to the Empire. Dad, could you turn off the TV? Sure. How's your training going? It's over, I think. I've been serving on the Agadashi this whole time. I haven't had time for training at all. Real combat is the best training anyone can get, Kimi. An hour in the battlefield is like a year in simulations. I know, I know. Are you okay, Kimi? Yeah, I just... Wish Mom was still around. Me too, Kimi. Me too. Dad, is this war even worth it? I don't know, but it's not up for us to decide. Don't give me that crap. I get enough of that from the news, I don't want my dad to repeat the same thing. Kimi. I want to know what you... What you personally think about this war. I don't think this war should have started in the first place. I don't know what happened at the Ma with the Mapo Tahu, but I'm sure it didn't need to escalate the way it did. Thanks, Dad. Everyone keeps saying the same thing over and over, so I was scared that I was alone and thinking this whole war was pointless. Now I know that you feel the same way. Just be safe out there, Kimi. I don't want to lose you, too. Don't worry. I can handle myself. I should get going. I'm due back on the ship soon. All right. Come visit the next time your ship docks with the fleet, okay? Of course. Okay. There's no way I forgot food here a third time. Got a quality MRE. Gosh darn it. Mom got me some books about marine tactics and historical battles. I've read them multiple times already. I'll say my new bed is much more comfortable. My trusty digipad. It's getting a bit out of date though. I should get I should have gotten a new one before the ration started. It's mom and dad's room. Well, just dad's now. Replicator, let's see. Should I make? Let's uh, let's get a stimulant. And done. Use a full day to recharge. Not very efficient, but it's an amazing piece of tech. Uh, mom does renovate our apartment for compensation. It's nice, but I really wish she was still around. Okay. I should make sure I have everything I need. I'm supposed to go to the transporter room 3B. I think that's next to the hangar. Okay. Meth, indeed. ID, please. Here you are. Let's see. Lieutenant Kimi, here's your morning ration. Enjoy. Let's transfer the fleet to uh, Takwa a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. Here for your meal, right? ID, please. Here. Let's see. Lieutenant Kimi, you already received your allotted rations. Good luck in your battles. All right, let's see what we have. Uh, MREs, quality MREs, medical serum, stimulants, energy drink. Low passive MR MP regeneration, personal shield. 
All right. Get a personal shield. A couple more stimulants and some medical serum. Remember to do your duty to the Empire. Get a few more rations, and then I'll finally head off to the next portion. Okay, one energy drink. No, three energy drinks and three MREs. Okay. All right, I'm loaded up. Let's uh, not fail this time, if possible. That's my brother. He's not dead, but he's been ordered back to the home planet. A visit, but I can't leave my post here. Yeah. Hanger. I need a break. Dr. Hakon is so zealous in his research. I get what he's doing is extremely important, but he's a real slave driver. Ah, uh, thank you. I believes in you so close. Just missing a bit of data, then the design will be complete. Sir, High Command has already dispatched the science vessel to conduct the research you requested. We can only wait for the return. Do you not understand how important this is? I hate to admit it, but those damn bunnies have us beat when it comes to space travel. If we're successful here, we can change the tide of this war. I understand, sir, but that's really nothing we can do until we get the data. No, we need to keep researching for another way, in case that research team fails. It seems pretty serious. I shouldn't disturb them. That's the one. Step onto the pad. Lieutenant Kimi, are you ready to go back to the Agadashi? Yep, let's go. All right. Give me a moment while I lock them the corner in the coordinates. Surgeon Jean reporting. Jean. Jean, going on a mission? Kimi, I haven't seen you in a while. I'm assigned to the Agadashi. You? Me too. I'm about to head over now. Great. We get to work together again. Coordinates locked in. Ready for transport, Lieutenant? All right. I'll see you on board, Jean. Transporting in three, two, one. Welcome back, Lieutenant. Please step off the pad. We have another person coming aboard. Got it. Sergeant Jean reporting. Welcome aboard the Agadashi, Sergeant. Thank you. Where's my assignment? Marines are in standby in the barracks for now. Go ahead and drop off your belongings. Come on, Jean. I'll show you around the ship and take you there. Sure, lead the way. And this here is your bunk. It's not much, but it's comfortable enough. We're on a warship, Kimi, not a luxury cruise. This will do just fine. <laughs> That's fair. Are you alright, Jean? You're out for a while after you returned from the Mapo Tahu mission. We haven't really had a chance to talk since then, so... It was really surprising. I never expected to run to those bunnies like that. Then again, I don't think anyone did. I'm alright now, though. Ready for action. Do you know what our mission is? The captain will make announcement once we get underway. Speaking of which, I should probably head to my post. All right, I'll get settled in then. Come visit me anytime. Sure thing. Squiggle. Drawer for Marines. I'll leave it alone for now. Hey, Fux. How are you doing? Lieutenant. Everything's all set. I'm good to go. Good to hear. Hmm, where's Muller? Already got recalled to the home planet. Him too? So many men being sent back. Yeah, it's a shame. I was looking forward to working with him again. Oh, well, be ready, okay? We're heading out soon. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Please stop calling me that. It makes me feel old. S sorry. Yes, that's absolutely what's going to happen. <laughs> Jean is absolutely a bunny in disguise. It's, it's so obvious.
Oh, wait. Um, actually, I'm going to save first. You never know. This could be a good time to do it in the journal. Who knows what could happen on this mission? Ah, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. If I really want to get somewhere fast, I can uh, click and they'll rush. Please enter your destination. Lieutenant Kimi reporting, Captain Romer. Good, you're back. We're about to be underway. Take your post. Yes, sir. Hard to believe I've been at this station for a whole year. At least I got promoted. Let's see. Are you ready to go, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Yeah, being able to rush is really useful. All hands, this is the captain. Our mission today is a dangerous one. The science vessel Argutus was sent uh, a while back to, on an important uh, research mission and are currently stand, stranded in Federation space. The last transmission they sent has indicated that their Trump drive had been damaged and they were being pursued by Federation ships. That was a week ago. A few days ago, Jump Beacon... Okay. <clears throat> this is clunky written. A few days ago, Jump Beacon was detected near the Argutus' last known location. Given the importance of the data they have, High Command has decided that a rescue mission is necessary. We are to retrieve the data they gathered and rescue any survivors if there are any. For this mission, we will be escorted by the frigate Vaccinium. All hands are to maintain full alert. All hands are to maintain full alert. Be ready for anything. We jump as soon as we get the signal. Captain, we have the clear to go. Helm... Begin jump sequence. Yes, sir. Coordinates locked in. Initiating jump. Jump in three, two, one. Jumping. We have arrived at Captain. A Captain, there's a Federation cruiser here. Power to the ship. Ugh. What? What just happened? The bridge. Intruders detected in Deck B and the cargo bay. Marines to battle stations. Can't stay here. Captain! Ugh. Ugh. He's badly wounded, but still alive. Keep me. Don't speak. I'll try to get help. Go to the battle bridge. Save the ship. But I'm just... You can do it, Kimi. Captain! He passed out. There's a hole where they used to be. I cannot get to this guy here, unfortunately. Sucks to be him, I guess. Destination... Deck B. Gene! Kimi, get back! Ugh. Get out of here now, all them off. But, go! I have to get there somehow. I think I had some spare, spare supplies in my locker. Quality MRE and an energy drink. This should help. OK, 
Okay, I can't get down that way. Medbay got lucky and suffered, and barely suffered any damage. Still, things are pretty bad. You should get us out of. You should get out of here. There are enemies right outside. Now I need to secure the supplies. We have the wounded. Uh, worst comes to worst, I can lock the doors. I have a gun too. The captain's wounds are pretty badly. He's still on the bridge. Got it. I'll try to bring him here. Good luck, doctor. Well, I mean, they are in a suit, but, uh... Is there anything I can salvage here? This is for emergencies, after all. Looks like a section of the wall collapsed. I can see the transporter room on the other side. Hey! Kimi, I said to... No time, let's do this. Got there quicker than before. There's no wounded. Everybody died. Support, if possible. Uh, let's uh, make certain that they're gone. Okay. Not really fond of the continued missing. <coughs> the party was victorious. 1100 experience received. Kimi, you shouldn't have done that. I mean, I'm glad you saved me, but... Like hell, I'm going to let my best friend die like that. We don't have time for that here. Uh, there might still be enemies on ship. Right, let's get going then. Federation Bunny, it's my first time seeing one. They kind of look like us, don't they? Yeah. He's dead. He died doing his duty. He'll get a military burial later. He's dead, Jim. That's true. It is nice not to have your ass kicked. I'm just saying. It is nice. <laughs> Huh? Ugh. 
the elevator must have taken a bad hit. I'm lucky I've only got a few bruises out of that. Ah, damn it. Fucks, we're fighting back. R right. Okay. Their marine helmets are really ridiculous looking. shot that. I need a better way to filter the noise from outside. immediately that's uh very strange yeah it, it's really kind of easy to hear some of the things going on outside i have my window right open right next to me to be fair this isn't the uh tough fight from the first, uh, from the earlier session. But it does seem like overall it's going easier than it did last time. Thanks for the save, Lieutenant. I thought I was a goner here. Are you okay, Fox? My armor took a few hits, but I'm okay. I need to get the battle bridge. The elevator's been destroyed. We can use the access ladder to get to the engineering. I'll come with you just in case we run into more enemies. Okay. And take advantage of this. I have some flies in my locker that we can probably use. Hang on, let me open it. Quality MRE and an energy drink. Thanks, Fox. Already open fucks locker. Hang on, I'll open it for us. Three MREs. That's a lot of MREs, Gene. Being a Marine is hungry work, you know. It's locked. It's not my locker, so I don't know the combination. I'm basically, just a warehouse worker, not a fighter. I, I can't handle this. Maybe we can transport a Deck Beast transporter from here? That shouldn't be too hard. Let me see what I can do. Got it. Step on the transporter rad when you're, pad when you're ready to go. I really don't need to. I kind of already did that part. She's 
dead. Shot multiple times. I wonder what they think about this war. Kimi? Ah, it's nothing. Don't mind me. We've only seen Federation droids up until now, haven't we? It's a smart choice. It minimizes loss on, of life on their side. I wonder why they decided to send live soldiers this time. It's a good question. Engineering looks relatively intact, but where is everyone? They probably went to the battle bridge. In case the deck officers are incapacitated, other officers will fill those roles. Right, let's go there. That's a good point. If it's a long-running war, it could be very strain strenuous on the uh, resources. Uh, elevator's broken down, there's no point in going back in. The uh, fleet for the Empire has been strictly rationed in every capacity, so... Uh, yeah, they could be the same for the bunnies. Lieutenant! Is is this everyone? Looks like it. Engineering was cut off from the rest of the ship. What should we do, what should we do ma'am? Me? You're the highest ranking officer here. Uh, Alright. Give me a moment. Can't believe this is happening. Maybe I should write in my journal while I can. Am I ready to do this? Deep breath. Give me a status report. Weapons are operational. In fact, most of the ship, ship systems are online. We just took a lot of structural damage. That's one piece of good news. What about the vaccinium? They've suffered heavy dam... Okay, that cut off. The vaccinium has been destroyed. The Federation cruiser is turning on us. Powder shields and weapons. All right, I remember this fight being a pain in the ass, but uh, let's see. Yeah, I have a pretty good idea that the, uh, or, I uh, agree, the bunnies probably don't like the war either. <laughs> They're fucking bunnies, obviously. Okie doke. shields. shields. Emergency repairs. Mm. Uh, target their shields. Ah, there we go. Agadashi was victorious. 
Federation cruiser has been destroyed. Ugh. Scan the sector. I don't want any more enemies sneaking up on us. Yes, ma'am. Gene, Fox, you two sweep the ship and make sure there aren't any other enemies on board. Search for survivors, too, and see what the repairs you can do. You got it. Contact Deck B. See what the situation is there. Medra reports that they have the captain. He didn't make it. I see. I wonder if there's anything I could have done to save him. I'm going to take a look around the ship and think about what we should do next. Let me know if anything comes up. Yes, ma'am. I can't believe this is happening. Maybe I should write in my journal while I can. Yes, that's a good idea. The ship's in pretty bad shape, but we'll pull through. Our main problem is that there aren't many survivors. Operating a ship might be difficult. We've been trained in basic ship operation, and the ship can run mi with minimal crew. Yeah, but I still don't like it. What we do now, Captain? Acting Captain. I haven't decided yet. I've never been command like this before, you know? I have faith in you, Kimi. We'll be okay. Thanks, Gene. Just fixing some conduits here. Looks like the elevator just lost power. And that should do it. Great job, fucks. Deck B. He's dead. I'm sorry I couldn't see you, sir. I managed to bring the captain here. Unfortunately, he lost too much blood. There wasn't anything I could have done to save him. Please enter your destination. back to uh, engineering. We're safe now, but we need to move, make a move soon. What should we do? Thank goodness we survived that. I just want to go home now. What do we do now? Go home? Or should we try to complete the mission? <coughs> Excuse me. Am I ready to take command again? What should we do now? The captain said our mission was to retrieve some important data. So important that the high command has said to send a cruiser and a frigate to recover. But we're in pretty bad shape. I'm not sure if anything trying to complete the mission will be anything more than a suicide mission. I don't know what the data is, but it better be worth it. All hands, this is Acting Captain Keeney. I know we've suffered heavy losses in the attack just now, but we still have but we still have a mission to do. At this point, you probably just want to go home. I do too. But the data might change the course of the war. We can't return empty-handed. For the future of the Empire and every Fox, please, just hold on a little longer. Helm, plot course for the last known coordinates of the Argutus. Yes, ma'am. We're approaching the asteroid field, ma'am. I'm detecting a large amount of... De uh, I'm detecting a lot of debris, some of them consistent with Imperial ships. Is it the Argudutus? Unclear. There's too much interference to get a clear reading. Our deflector should be able to protect us from debris, but it'll drain energy if we run in too often too much. There are also Federation drones in the area. They seem to be searching for something. We were able to make some repairs and load all the undamaged backup energy cells we had along on the way here, but we still we should still get out of here as soon as we can. Let's find the Argutus quickly and get the data from them. Something about the way this is written just really trips me up reading it. Wreckage of an Imperial ship here. Looks of it, it's been here a while. Probably not the Argutus then. 
Should we try to salvage it? Yes. Recovered 2,000 hit points. Even in death, they managed to help us. Okay. Ma'am, there's an energy well here. We can recharge power. We can recharge our power cells a bit here. However, we can't recharge too much without risking catastrophic collapse in the well. Yes, we need all the help we can get. Go ahead. Recovered 150 energy. Oh, that's a. Uh... It's wreckage of a Federation ship here, ma'am. Might be able to salvage some parts for repair and resupply. Yes. Go ahead. Some drones have been activated. Uh, all right. Drones it is. Shields. Emergency repairs. Akadashi has been victorious. We should probably have been more careful. Continue the salvage. Yes, ma'am. Found some supplies that we can use to repair the ship. Covered a thousand hit points. We also found some Federation missiles we can use. There, theirs are a bit different than ours, but I'm sure we can make use of it. Aganeshi can use the rocket barrage, which could be interesting. Mm. I don't really see my oh. Hey, I got away without a scratch. Uh, if it's showing offline, try rebooting the... Uh... Oh, of course, you can't hear me if it's offline on your side. Ship. Wreckage of a Federation ship here, ma'am. We might be able to salvage some parts for repair and resupply. Yes, let's resalvage. Go ahead. Found some supplies we can use to repair the ship. Recovered 1500 HP. Good, that helped a little bit. Alright, I explored this asteroid field a little bit more thoroughly this time. Ah. Get away. Okay, and there's my destination. Alright. We found the Argutus. It's been destroyed. Damn, we were too late. But we're here for the data. It might have survived. Scan for somewhere we can dock. Maybe we can find 
it and the ship's computer. Most of the ship is inaccessible, but there seems to be a section in the rear that's somehow still intact. Uh, is there anything inside? There's too much debris. We can't get a clear reading. Of course. Should we dock, ma'am? Yes. Take us in and keep an eye out for any hostiles. Yes, ma'am. Docking complete. Pressurizing the interior of the Argutus now. Pressurization complete. Ready for boarding. Good. I'll take Gene and Fux to guard the uh, check out the ship. Ma'am? Honestly, I'm not too comfortable in the captain's seat right now. Turn off non-essential systems and try to hide among the debris. If anything happens, teleport us out immediately. But that's... Yes, I'm aware of the risks, but we won't have any time to return on foot. Yes, ma'am. Gene, Fox, meet B by the airlock. We're boarding the Argutus. Boarding the derelict ship, huh? Well, if nothing else, it will certainly be an adventure. Maybe a quick journal entry before I go. Okay, this is where we left off last time, just about. Right, this way. Climb down the ladder, of course. <clears throat> oh, the airlock, not the ramp. Duh. So we're going to the Argutus then, Kimi. Yep, hopefully the data we need is on there. I just hope it's not another trap. If it comes to it, we can fight them off. Board the Argutus? Yes. Thank you. I will need that luck. I'm amazed this place is, in is as intact as it is. Considering the damage the Argutus took, we're lucky to have a place to dock at all. We should still be careful. The, truck the structure might be unstable. There might be hostiles on board too. They were able to ambush us before, after all. And I'd hate to be here if some if there's a hull breach or something. We'll get out of here as soon as we can. Okay. It's a console. There's no power though. Maybe if we find a tower conduit, we can restore power to the section of the uh, ship. Convenient glowies. Hmm. What's this? Portable power pack. This could come in handy. Connect the portable power pack. Looks like the power has been restored for this room. Cargo manifest is shown here. There's a lot of science equipment here. I don't know what they do though. Oh, those are equipment for studying stellar phenomenon. You can detect very. You can detect and research radiation and gamma rays and. Uh, stuff like gamma rays and cock on radiation with it. You sure know a lot about these things, Fox. I actually wanted to be a scientist, but things really didn't work out that way. I forgot how wonky this music is. Enemies! They're not moving? Maybe they're on standby? I don't know, but we should leave them alone if, all, if at all possible. Connect the power supply? Yes. Looks like power's been destroyed for this room. Lieutenant, the Federation droids are powering up. Get ready for a fight. Almost like I meant to do that or something. Okay.
Hey, that was a very well-timed critical hit. All the traffic we get around here, you would never suspect this is just a friggin' little side street. Gene is now level 16. Fox is now level 15. That takes care of that. It's almost Digipad. There's a journal entry on it. Today is the first day of the data returned of the data returned from the probe. Amazed that we were able to get anything from anything from beyond the black hole's event horizon. Still, it won't be long before we lose connection with the probe. Here's hoping we can, we can get enough data we need. They managed to get a reading from beyond the event horizon? That's amazing. I'm glad we've made so much technological progress. She's dead. Looks like we've been studying... Looks like they were studying a black hole in the sector. Black hole? What for? I'm not sure, but it must be for something really important since they're notoriously hard to study. We've tried it before, but more often than not, the science vessels we get we sent got destroyed trying. Even if the vessels survived, they rarely return with useful data. But according to these logs, they had some sort of breakthrough. Is it the data we're looking for? Maybe, but the data isn't stored here. It's stored in the mainframe, apparently. Then that's where we're going. But yeah, we do often have a lot of accidents on this uh, intersection. People run these uh, stop signs so often. There were two last week, or not last week, the week before last. Just like not too far from each other either. It looks like we have some enemies here. They don't seem to be active though. Are they waiting for something? Let's not bother them until we're ready. This leads to an unstable section of the ship. We can't access it. Sure we're all rested and healed up and ready. All right. Wait a minute. 
Wait, I can save here? Well, then what's... Okay. Uh, so apparently I can just save wherever. What's the point of the journals then? I don't... Well, that would have been nice to know last time. Looks like power's been restored for this room. Lieutenant, the droids are powering up. Get ready for a fight. Right? Like, I was so positive you could only save at journals. Because, I mean, why else would you just have the journals? Like, On the plus side, I am far better prepared for this section of the game than I was last time. I have a ton more supplies. Twenty four hundred experience. Kimi is level seventeen. Fox is level sixteen. That takes care of that. Huh. Bucks on the science ships are really nice. Aside from that from the danger damages that is. Their missions can be even more dangerous in actual combat. 
So re field researches are usually better rewarded better. I guess that makes sense. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find something. Anything useful in these drawers? Got an officer personal shield. Oh, I could definitely use this. Anything useful in these drawers? Got a gold bar. Huh? I wonder why they have one of these. Did I ever actually equip that? I did not. <laughs> oh, brain. going this way with uh, out equipping uh, the shield that I bought earlier. He's dead. I guess it's too much to hope for survivors. It's a bloodstained digipad. Maybe it belonged to him? There's a journal entry on it. The ship has been boarded by the Federation. We're completely overrun. I managed to find my. I managed to lock myself in the security office, but I'm bleeding badly. Chances are I won't make it, but the data we collected must make it back to high command. The mainframe has enough power to keep running for about a month. We've already sent out a distress call. The code for the security system is seven five nine three. Let it be known that we did our duty. Glory to the Empire. We'll make sure that people know of your sacrifice. I haven't saved yet, but I'm going to in just a moment. Yep, 7593. Thank you. So power has been restored for this room. Hmm. There's still power in here? It has its own power source. Some science ships have these rooms in order to preserve their data in case they suffered catastrophic damage. Unfortunately, that also means the security measures are still active. Can we just... Can't have someone just come and get uh, the data, I suppose. I don't suppose we can just destroy the generators. Not if you want to risk a huge explosion. We'll have to find a way to deactivate it then. Here's the security console. We can probably deactivate the security laser here. It's asking for a code. 7593. Got it. We'll save here. Yeah. Here's the mainframe. Fux, can you take a look? Got it. Ship logs, crew, and cargo manifest. Here it is, research findings. Downloading the data now. Got it. Good, let's get out of here. Enemies, where'd they come from? Doesn't matter, we have to fight. Kill this off sooner, then
really not a fan when the Gatling shot hits all one person. But, uh, it's going to do far more damage than I can handle uh, easily. But it's over. 1400 experience. Gene is now level 17. Might be more enemies. We need to get out of here quickly. Portable power pack. Yes. Grab that. Save one more time. Looks like they haven't infested the ship exactly. Yeah, well... <laughs> more enemies. There's too many. Agadashi, get us out of here now. Locking in on your signal now. Hang in there. All right. Here we go. And I've already made a mistake by uh, not doing what I intended to do. Arg. I messed up that first round really bad. Yeah, this is the part. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm only supposed to survive this for a certain number of rounds before they uh, pull me back onto the ship. But surviving those rounds is uh, surprisingly rough. Especially when they start using those. Alright. Offensive stun grenade. Offensive focus shot. Agadashi, what's taking so long? We almost have it. Just a bit longer. Oh, that helps immensely. I just happened to be able to stun all of them that round. Stunned all of them again. Okay, that's uh off. That miss uh, really fucks things up for me right now. At least one of them is still stunned, I suppose.
the fuck? Oh, for fuck's sake, finally. God damn. Helm, undock and get us away now. H huh? Now! Y yes, ma'am. The airlocks took some damage, but we're free. Whew. Plot a course for up in space. We'll, I'll be on the bridge soon. Okay. Now all we need to do is get back to open space. Almost there. We can do it. Okay, that was a ridiculous section. I'm not very fond of that. Well, did I actually use those? There'll probably be a ship boss fight at the end of this. I have no doubts. There. Or most likely, anyway. During open space, ma'am. Good. Now, there's a Federation cruiser on intercept course. Charge the jump drive. Jump back to the fleet as soon as it's ready. Prepare for battle. Ah, oh, jeez. This game certainly likes its marathon survival events. Ha. Jump drive at... I did not read that. Jump drive's ready. Jump! Now! We've arrived at the fleet, ma'am. It's good to be back. Hail the Barry Ascension. Tell them the data when requesting docking permission. Docking permission granted and taking us in. Successfully docked. Admiral Katina is waiting, uh, is requesting Captain Romer to meet her in Laboratory 3D. The Admiral? I guess I'll have to meet her myself since the captain's unavailable. All right, let them know I'll be transporting back shortly. I think they have today's events and deserve a long journal in my, or entry in my journal. I'm just glad to have made it past that one particular section of this. Uh... Fux, what are you doing here? Lieutenant, I'm just making a quick peek at the data we recovered today they found is really amazing, but I'm not sure what they intend to be using it for. High Command must have something special in mind. They wouldn't have authorized a mission like this to be otherwise. Let's hope whatever it is is worth it. Climb down the ladder. She didn't make it. Transport back to the Barry Ascension? Yes. Welcome back. I heard your mission was rough. That's an understatement. Well, before you go to Admiral Katina, before you go home, Admiral Katina is waiting for you in Laboratory 3D. It's right next door. Thanks. Okay. 
Oof. Lieutenant Kimi of the Ag uh, Agadashi reporting has ordered, Admiral. Lieutenant, where's the captain? He's been killed in action, ma'am. I'm the acting captain until a new one has been assigned. Hmm. I see. You have the data, don't you? Hand it over. Y yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, this is exactly what I needed. With this, I can finish the new design. We'll be able to match the Federation. Good. Start work. Start your work immediately. I want results within a week. Yes, ma'am. What's this design you're talking about? That's classified information. You're dismissed. Leave the scientists to their work. With all due respect, Admiral, a lot of my crew died for this data. I deserve to know what they died for. Your crew? I... Aren't you full of yourself, Lieutenant? Don't you... Don't think that just because you took command for a bit that you're a captain. The Admiral, this project wouldn't be possible without the efforts of the Agadashi and her crew. They risked their life for this data. Surely they've proven their loyalty to the Empire? Lieutenant Komi, was it? K Kimi, ma'am. Fine. Kimi. I suppose the announcement will be made soon enough anyway. Tell her what you're working on if you want. Y yes, ma'am. In layman's terms, I repeat his data on the black hole. As you know, the Federation arguably has better interstellar travel drive than we do. We have plans to make a black hole ship to complete with them, but didn't have enough uh, <clears throat> but didn't have enough data to create an effective containment field. With your data, we can complete the design and make a prototype soon. A black hole ship? That sounds very dangerous. It's currently our only solution to the Federation ships. They're simply faster than ours right now. I, I see. So now you know. Of course, this information does not leave this room until the design is finished and the prototype is complete. You know what happens if you leak information, don't you? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Good. Now leave us. Admiral Katina is scary as the rumors say. I thought she was going to kill me when I asked about the design. Probably shouldn't have asked in the first place. Still, a black hole ship. Is that really a good idea? I'll just go home for now. Let's see. Dad? It's late after all. Maybe he's asleep. What's this? A note from Dad. Kimi, I'm afraid I've been recalled to the home planet. I wanted to tell you in person, but I was ordered to leave immediately. you come so far since you were a cadet. I'm proud of you, and I'm sure your mother would be too. I left something for you in, your, in our room. It belonged to your mother. She would have wanted you to have it. Stay strong and be safe. Just like that, huh? Nothing else here now. Smith is dad's side of the bed. There's a lot of things in here. I wonder why you didn't take it with him. Mom's stuff is, in here, is all here. I guess Dad didn't want to throw them all away. Hmm? A package. This is what Dad was talking about? What's this? Mother's amulet. There's a note with it. Kimi, I made this for your mother when we got married. I built a customized personal shield into the, into the amulet to help protect your mother in battle. Hope it keeps you safe. Dad. It's hard to believe they've that such a pretty amulet is also a personal shield. Thanks, Dad. You know, a suicide mission sounds likely, the way this uh, game characterizes the uh, Empire. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Personal shield and a camouflage device. What a day. Getting ambushed by the Federation, hearing about the secret design, and Dad being recalled to the home planet. Just about ready to pass out. Yeah, go sleep. Save game. Chapter 4. 
the Delta Selfie Convention. The war rages on for another year. With the newly developed Black Hole Drive, the Empire now has the advantage in the war. Our fleets drive the Federation back at every turn, taking planet after planet. With the new resources available to us, the ration has ended in most fleets. Sources say the Federation has been sending envoys in an attempt to negotiate peace due to the tremendous losses they've been suffering. Our benevolent Emperor is currently reviewing the proposed treaty. In the meantime, we will continue to fight on all fronts. That's it for today's briefing. Remember, do your duty to the Empire. Every day it's announcements like this. At least before they tell us how the war was going. Now we barely can get news from the other fleets. Well, I guess there's nothing you can do about it. Hope they manage to come to an agreement soon. It's been two years already. I'm tired of this war. Have we already... Have we really taken a lot of Federation planets? I thought most of our new resources come from... Uh, were from conquered pre-space flight civilizations. I really don't like these daily briefings. They always say the same thing. Couldn't we just be... Couldn't we be using our time more efficiently? Lieutenant Kimi of the CGFE Agadashi. Report to the captain's office immediately. Wait, what? Why am I being called all of a sudden? Hope it's not anything bad. The captain's office is... Next to the canteen, if I remember correctly. So, here? No, that's not it. Hmm? So, what are you looking for? But this stuff is... Yes, I understand. One moment, please. Here you are. Nod. Stare. Ah, uh, sorry. What was that all about? She's one of our new those, those new Imperial agents. I don't like how they never talk. Honestly, they scare me a bit. What did she want? You sounded really surprised. Sorry, that information is classified. Ah, okay. Anyways, did you want to browse the shop? Shoot blaster... Heat sword. Personal shield. Okay, that's all. Remember, do your duty to the Empire. Various guns on this place case here. The Marines have access to a larger selection of weapons. Right. ID, please. Here you are. Let's see. Lieutenant Kimi, here's your evening ration. Got an MRE. Enjoy. Hi? Alright, that's a... Hey, Kimi. Enjoying a shore leave? Yep. It's nice to be at home after so long. Shore leave is getting rare, so I take what I... So I take what we can get. Don't remind me. We get deployed so often, it's getting ridiculous. Well, if the rumors of the treaty are true, the war might finally come to an end. I don't want to be cynical, but I wouldn't bet on it. You're not doing as well. We're not doing as well against the Federation as the briefings say, you know? And negotiations that might happen won't be one as one-sided either. Well, we can hope, right? I suppose. Just be ready for everything, right, okay? Of course. After our shore leave ends. Jeez. Fine, fine. Lieutenant Kimi, how are you doing? Not bad at all, just enjoying our sewer leave while we can. Though, I'm a bit worried about why the captain wants to see me. Oh yeah, there was an announcement, wasn't there? You should probably go see him. Better to get uh, whatever it is over with, right? I guess. I'm sure it won't be that bad. It might actually be a good thing. Hopefully. I'll see you around, fucks. Lieutenant Kimi reporting as requested, sir. Good. Come here. What do you wish to see me for, sir? You've come a long way, haven't you, Kimi? It was a few years since you were uh, here after your first away mission. I'm honored you remember me, sir. 
Nowadays, there aren't too many people left to remember. Kimi, you have several notable accomplishments under your belt already. Impressive for someone your age. Thank you, sir. But you are also quite impulsive, aren't you? I admit that you tend to get the results, but you might just be luck. In these uncertain times, we can't rely on luck for victory. That's why I'm going to ask you to make a decision. Do you want to focus on ship command as a commanding officer? Or do you want to lead the Marines as a major? S sir? With the war going on the way it is, we need to use the officers that we have to the best of their abilities. That's why High Command has decided to train and utilize more specialized officers. That's a sudden question, sir. I won't ask you to give me an answer right right now, but don't take too long either. Understood, sir. I'll try to come up with an answer soon. Good. Come see me when you're ready. Wait, are there class splits in this? I guess so. You decide on which path you wanted to pursue, Kimi? Okay. Commanding officer or major. As commanding officer, your training will help you in command of your ship, command your ship more effectively in combat. You'll also be trained in electronic warfare, so you can change the tide uh, in ship-to-ship -ship combat. Majors are trained to support marines in ground combat with a variety of skills. They specialize in weakening the enemy while taking their troops alive. Or while keeping their troops alive. Ah, that's, um... Huh. So, should I be a commanding officer for a ship? Or should I be a, a major for uh, a contingent of marines? I'm leaning more towards major, personally. <laughs> Commanding officer will give me uh, options, more ship to ship combat options, while a major will give me more options for combat with uh, in melee also howdy I think I'm gonna go with uh, a major actually because uh, ship to ship combat hasn't really been too overly taxing yeah this is a major decision yes it literally is a major decision you won't be able to change your mind after are you sure you want to become a major? Yes. Very well. I'll send word to your instructor. Get some rest. Your training starts tomorrow. Yes, sir. Specialized training, huh? Well, this training won't take as long. I don't want to be away from the front too much. Should probably turn in for the night. My training starts tomorrow, after all. Here, let's see. Lieutenant Kimi. Uh, oh, yeah. Good luck in your battles. No, it's, uh... Um, what are you doing? Classified, huh? I'm just going to accept that there's always going to be food in here when I look. <laughs> yep, I thought so. Replicator is ready for use. I should I make something? Uh, let's make a stimulant. I used a bunch of those last time. And done. Bathroom, but I don't have to do. Right. Time for bed? Yes. Bedtime for me. Got a long day tomorrow. Two months later. Well, at least she gets a snazzy new uniform. I'm finally here. It's been a long road, but I'm finally in command of the Agadashi. 
I never thought that we be so short on personnel that to promote me to captain. I mean, I did captain a ship before, but I still lack proper experience. Let's see what my mission is. The ponytail is essential. A raid on a Federation supply outpost? Huh. I guess we're fighting all the way until the treaty is signed. If it's ever going to be signed. I guess we should go brief the crew and get underway. Alright. I got some new equipment too. I should check on those. First mission as a captain. I have to make sure I have to make sure I perform well on this time. All right, journal entry? Yes. Still the same terrarian as the captain's. Kind of like it, so I'll keep it the way it is for now. Personal locker. I haven't had much use for it yet, though. Um, where's the personal equipment, then? Captain on the bridge. As you were, everyone. All hands, this is the captain. Our mission today is to conduct a raid on this Federation supply outpost in Sector 43D. We'll be jumping on to a beacon probe in the sector and make our way to the outpost nearby. Our primary objective is to disrupt their supply lines, but we'll also steal what supplies we can, tech we can. We jump in, hit hard, and then get out. Simple. Everyone get ready, we'll be leaving soon. In here. Oh. Mm. Kind of want to stick with the sword. Yeah, that's definitely going to go bad. There's like not even a question. Field officer. Yeah, that's. Build officer armor. Very nice. I want another sword. I don't want more guns. <laughs> Alright. Our sensors got an upgrade recently, ma'am. Can't wait to try them out. Nah, I guess I'll, uh... You ready to go, Captain? Comms, signal the ascension that we'll be on our way. Captain, we have our clear to go. They wish us luck on our mission. Good. I want shields raised as soon as we arrive. We're jumping into enemy, ter enemy territory, after all. Yes, ma'am. Shields ready on standby. Helm lock in coordinates. Jump as soon as we are, as you're ready. Yes, ma'am. Quarters locked in. Charging the jump drive. Jump in three... Two, one, jumping. We've arrived, ma'am. Plan is dead ahead, but there there are fighter drone patrols in the area. We're ready for them. Full ahead. Still got the rocking. Okay, I can send boarding parties now. Power to shields. It's too late. We've already been sued by Team Four Star. And it's all your fault. All your fault.
All right. I yeah, the ship designs are very reminiscent of uh, Master Ryan too. Not that that's a bad thing. I really like the ship designs in. in the... Captain, there's a Federation cruiser orbiting the planet. It's on an intercept course. We can't raid the outpost without taking care of it anyway. Destroy it. It big, it looked like an isopod. Their ship look like isopods. My ship looks kind of like a crustacean crab of some sort. You know, as it should, I suppose. Yes, it looks like that too. Just be the weapons suddenly get stronger. GFE Agadashi was victorious. Enemy destroyed. We're clear for approach. Good. Let's go before we can mount an effective defense. Oh, I can't do something to their satellite? Oh, shit. I hope they can recharge their shields. Or energy before I go. Actually, fuck that. Ah. Um. Okay, that was weird. We've arrived at the planet, ma'am. I'm picking up a small Federation outpost and several smaller structures some distance away from the main complex. They're, presumer agri they're presumably agricultural centers. There doesn't seem to be any significant resistance. They must have been relying on the cruiser for the cruiser support. Shall we begin our attack? Yes. Repairing weapons? An orbital bombardment should... No. Take us down. I want us to the outpost for myself. Ma'am? This is a rare chance to see the enemy face to face. We should take it. Very well, ma'am. Let's get this started. Yeah, it seems like a... 
Should at least be able to destroy it and uh, take the satellite or some such. This this is an outpost. This is nearly as this is nearly as luxurious as our major cities. I've never seen a planet that's as lush as this before. It really shows how different our two civilizations are. If the Federation can afford such luxuries for their outposts. Does that mean they have much more resources at their disposal? We should report this to High Command when we get back. We'll deal with that later. But where is everyone? Maybe they were warned about the cruiser, or warned by the cruiser and are hiding in the buildings. The less resistance for us, the better. How should we proceed, Kimi? Let's see what we can do. What we can find here first. There might be something else important here. Understood. If we need to get through locked doors, we have a few breaching charges. Though we only have two, so don't go crazy with them. Don't worry. I got two more with me. Yep, fields of carrots. Okay, let's see what I've got here. Door's locked. Yes, let's clear it. Do it. We're in. Oh. Captain, we got hostiles. Oh, it's all drones, though. Healing cloud lingers over enemies. Or, oh, that's useful. Offensive. We'll work on that later. Yeah, I think the ponytail is a really nice addition to the design. Does seem a little odd to have absolutely no one here. Corrosive grenade. Lowest damage of all. Oh, nice. I uh, don't get too wasted. clear now. See, there's still a second floor. Stay alert. Looks like someone's home. Science suggests this is a science facility of some kind, though. Maybe this serves as a lounge for the scientists? Maybe. Maybe. Let's look. Let's take a look around. Looks like they're well stocked. Ugh, too salty for my taste. like a drink machine. I don't have any Federation currency, though. I just blow it up. A basket of fruits? It's pretty rare for us as is, and they just leave it laying around? Someone's journal is here. Can't read the bunny's language, though. That's like that's important like information. You could take that with you. Looks like they move a large crate in the way. It's too heavy of hers to move. 
But maybe we can blow it out of the way? Yeah, blast the grade. Do it! It's clear. Captain, there are Federation personnel here. Marines, take cover. Wait, they're not soldiers. We're just scientists. It could be a trap. Or they could be telling the truth. What should we do, Captain? Ah, should I talk to the bunnies or should I attack them? This might be the first we've actually been able to talk to them. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll talk to them. They don't look like a threat. Let's see what they have to say first. Who are you? Please, we're just civilians. We don't know how to fight. The cruiser and droids were our only defense. If you're here, then they were destroyed. I thought so. I know we're at war, but this is just a farming outpost. We're only here to study the native plant and animal life. Can you spare us? My order is to destroy this outpost. Even if you're civilians, you're still contributing to your war effort. If you get in our way, we'll have no choice but to retaliate. I guess we can't stop you. Just please, spare the civilians. It's a console. I'm not sure what it's for, though. You can tell, you can tell they're um, our enemies because they're walking around slowly with us in the area. Something is still useful. UBF field suit. Looks tougher than our standard officer gear. It's Federation tools. I don't think I see anything useful, though. I'm checking something. I can't tell what. Uh, maybe the thing it's hooked up to. Was it okay to spare them, Captain? I'm not saying we should have killed them, but we're not monsters, folks. Even in war, there's some basic decency. We don't kill civilians. Glad you feel the same way, Captain. Let's see. Uh, it's not as good as what I'm currently wearing. A... Beautiful plaque here. Can't tell what it's showing, though. Looks like a gathering place for the bunnies. Maybe it's a council chamber? Monorail? Right, is that really all there uh, is at this outpost? Interesting. All right, I'm going to breach the, well, it looks like a church, but we'll see. Yes, breach. We're in. Uh, I'll heal up. Yeah, but I mean, given the uh, resources here, three buildings and a monorail. What is this place? This is the Temple of Soma. You're from the Empire, aren't you? There's nothing of military value here, only us priestesses. You're free to partake in our facilities as you, if you wish. As long as you didn't get in our way, we'll leave you alone. Thank you. Please help yourself to anything here. That's mighty convenient. Various statues on display. Most of them don't look valuable, but this one... Yes. Got a small ornament. Spoils of war. Wow. You jackass. The statue looks really cool in here. The cabinet's locked tight. Various statues on display. Most of them don't look valuable, but this one... 
Small ornament. Spoils of war. This looks like a logbook of sorts. Book contains records of our daily rituals. This temple was established recently, and there aren't very many people here, so there isn't much, too much to record at the moment. And what is it you do here, anyways? In addition to our sermons, we provide comfort to those who have lost loved ones in the war, as well as host communal baths for the community. C communal baths? We're a social species. We need the company of our peers. We believe that a bath is the perfect place to do it. Okay, religious, personal... <laughs> I guess we really are different. Uh, she can't read the language, but I believe the bunnies are specifically speaking our language in this. I mean, they do seem a little more civilized than we are. Hello, I'm Misty. Wait, okay. I'm new to the temple, but I believe in their teachings of peace. Would you like to rest in our bathing area? We don't have time for that right now. Might be better just to kill them so there aren't any witnesses. No. Rude. You just spent time earlier telling the... Uh... <laughs> That's just... <laughs> the Temple of Soma thing is a strange place. I've never seen anything like it. Maybe it's a cultural thing? It looks like the building com uh, completely different from their other buildings. They were wearing some really light dresses, too. Still, was it okay to spare them? They seemed harmless enough, and nothing in there was worth destroying. I agree. Maybe once the order war is over, we can come back and talk to them some more. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, fucks. Yeah, that's like... Uh, <laughs> just after spending time talking about how we don't kill civilians, just offering to randomly kill uh, a priestess telling us that baths are nice. Do I need a breaching charge to board the train? <clears throat> looks like something important. From the looks of it, it's cargo train from the leads of the outlying farms on the planet. Must be how they move the supplies. Then they use the landing pad to get off planet. I doubt we'll have time to visit those farms. Afraid not, fucks. I bet blowing this up would set them back a bit, though. Set the charges and we'll take it out. Charges ready. Setting them off in 3, 2, 1. Mark. I should do it. Takes care of that then. Let's make sure there's nothing else we can bef uh, we can do before we go back. Oh, well, conveniently, I have one last charge, and there's one building we have not entered. Doors locked, so let's place a breaching charge. Do it. Do it. We're in. This looks like an apartment building. Looks nearly as good as the captain's quarters. This doesn't look like a civilization that's struggling to keep up with a war. Drawer, it's locked. Looks like there's some food stuff here. UBF snack. Wonder how it tastes. Looks like a drink machine. No currency, though. Drawer, it's locked. I mean, sure, it's locked, but... Like, this looks like a pr uh, procurement console, like the ones we have at the can canteen. I don't have any Federation currency, though. Looks like there's some foodstuffs here. We have a snack. I wonder how it tastes. Okay, well, two snacks. Oh. Captain, we got hostels. I don't want to say this game has been really good so far, but it has been engaging, even if only, even if it is rather silly.
<laughs> I mean, oh yeah, the plot has been interesting. Like I said, it has been entertaining and in, engaging, even if it's not the best written or anything. But uh, yeah, I kind of hope it ends up pretty fucked up too. But I kind of doubt that it will. Even if we are basically playing uh, the baddies. Kimi is now level 18. Fox is level 17. All clear now. Stay alert. There could be more. I mean, they give me a chance to sympathize with the uh, enemy, but uh, I don't know that I actually would. <laughs> Looks like there's some food stuff here. Got a snack. All right, I'm out of charges, so I can't go and talk to that those bunnies there. So I guess I'll leave them be. Still, this seems like it would be very useful intel for the uh, high command, regardless. Unless they already know and we just get in trouble for not, you know, nuking it from orbit. Which wouldn't surprise me, actually. Ready to go, Captain? Our job here is done here. Let's get out of here. A week later. Oh. I was expecting more ships to warp in, but okay. After two years of war, the Galactic Fox and Empire and the United Bunny Federation have finally come to an agreement to end the fighting. We now take you to Delta Selfe, to Delta Cephe, where representatives of both sides have gathered to sign the peace treaty. Uh, the terms of the treaty have been negotiated. All prisoners of war will be returned within half a year. Plants occupied by the Empire will be returned too. In exchange, the Federation will provide technologies to improve the Imperial economy and industry. A neutral zone will then be drawn up to maintain peace between our people. Additional terms are within the treaty, but those are the main concessions agreed upon. The Foxing representative has signed the treaty. Now the Federation representative will... Huh? Please wait. We seem to have some... Te I, call I figured this would probably happen. We seem to be having some technical difficulties. Uh, eh? What just... What? My digipad. Captain Kimi. Admiral. There's no time. I trust what, I trust that you saw the broadcast. The Agadashi is, in, is the ca closest ship we have to the Delta Cephe. Head there immediately. Investigate the situation and save any survivors, be them Imperial or Federation. We need to find out what happened. Yes, ma'am. All hands to battle stations, we're leaving immediately. I'm wondering if there's a third party playing both of us against each other. And that's how the war actually started. Eh, that might be giving the game a little too much credit. We'll see. Captain, set course with Delta Cephe. Jump when ready. Yes, ma'am. Jumping now. We're approaching the Delta Cephe. Detecting some debris, but nothing to indicate that any ships have been destroyed. Search the area. The perpetrator might still be nearby. It could be, um... Honestly, it sounds like it'd probably be an Imperial agent. <laughs> Captain, it's a detector satellite. One of ours. I'm sure the Federation has one, nearby to, uh, one of theirs nearby, too. See if you can pull any information from it. Nothing. It's been offline since right before the broadcast started. And no one noticed?
There's a, dipl a diplomatic vessel. Whoever's responsible might be around, though. We should check the area first. Looks like the Federation satellite. See if you can pull any information from it. We can't. Their encryption is different from ours, and we don't know their methods. I guess that makes sense. There's no energy signature coming from it. It's probably offline. So the Federation won't know what happened either, I take it. It's an energy well, ma'am. There's nothing unusual about it. I guess this wasn't the cause, then. Anything over this way? Mm, I'm wondering if we're going to be uh, framed for this incident. We're the closest ship. There are no sensors in online at the moment. And we were just sent in to take a look. No one else is here yet. Small barren moon. There aren't any life signs or energy signatures here. There's no sign of any activity either. It doesn't look like whoever or whatever is responsible is related to the moon, then. We haven't found anything else that might explain what happened. All that's left is to investigate the diplomatic ship itself. They appear to have power, but there's no response to our hails. There appears to be some damage to the hull, but nothing serious. Probably from impact with debris. So it wasn't damaged to the ship, either. Dock with the ship. And only th the only thing we can do is investigate the interior. Yes, ma'am. We're in. Doesn't seem to be a sign of a struggle. Agadashi, keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Keep me posted. Yes, ma'am. Now let's see what happened here. Some Federation crew members here. Doesn't look like they fought back. Maybe they were caught by surprise? Probably. They barely even ran. Maybe there are some clues in the consoles. Looks like she tried to get away from whatever attacked them. She didn't get very far, though. There's too much blood. It's hard to tell what kind of wounds there are. Hmm. Her throat's been slit. A clean cut. She looks like the captain of the ship. She's been shot, too. These wounds look like something from a Federation rifle? Do the Federation shoot their own people? Who knows what the reasoning might be. Maybe there was some infighting. Save the speculation for later. There's still more to do. Hmm. I wonder if maybe there's factions on both sides conspiring together to keep the war going. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time to see that. Helm controls, everything seems to be functioning. This looks like security console. Can't understand it, though. Let me take a look. They picked up the representatives last week, according to the schedule. Then they finalized the treaty and sent it to the heads of state for approval. There's nothing up after that, not even a record of the treaty signing starting. You can read it, Fox? Just a little bit. Start studying their language after our raid on that outpost. I thought they had some interesting stuff down at that post. I was curious to see what else I could learn. You're really curious about them, aren't you, Fox? Maybe just a bit. Anyways... We're not done here yet. Let's move on. This place looks untouched. No bodies, no damage. Almost looks like nothing happened. If only things went that smoothly. Still might be clues here, though. Personal logs or something. Maybe. Let's take a look around. One of the crew members' belong personal belongings. There doesn't seem to be anything that can help. It's one of the crew members' personal belongings. Personal belongings. Personal belongings. Personal belongings. Personal belongings. Some official-looking uniforms and documents here. It's probably one of the Federation's representative lockers, then. I don't see anything here that helps. Nothing helps. Weapons here. I don't recognize the make, though. Probably belongs to Federation escorts, then. Hmm, what's this? A journal? Oh, can I see that? This looks like a personal log. 
Everything seems normal until they notice something or someone on board. I didn't get a look at it. It might not be anything, though. What could it be, though? This looks like a locker of one of the escorts. There's some standard issue marine supplies here. I have some of these, too. Doesn't look like there's anything that'll help us, though. Uh, cabinet's one of the Imperial representatives. There's an insignia here used by one of our officers. Nothing that indicates what happens, though. Cabinet one of the Imperial representatives, insignia, and nothing indicates what... Okay. I guess that's everything here. Here's the conference room. It's a mess. There's been a fight here, and the room has been damaged. Probably because there were more people here. Let's take a look around. Hmm. Pardon me. It's one of the Federation escorts. Our armor and chest is smashed in. Uh, oh. Federation soldier looks like she's been shot multiple times. Those look like bullet holes on her. Hmm. One of the Federation representatives. He's been disemboweled. What a horrible way to go. Federation representative. She's been stabbed in the chest. One of our diplomats. Looked like they hit on his head with something. One of our diplomats. He's been shot with a blaster. Federation don't use blasters, do they? Not generally, no. It's one of our marine escorts. He was shot in the head. It's one of our marine escorts. Her armor's been shredded. Maybe there was an explosion or something? Maybe, but there doesn't seem to be enough damage in the room to account for that. Hmm. This blood. What is it, Captain? Who's this bl who does it belong to? There aren't any bodies next to it, and no blood trails uh, to any of the bodies. That means there's someone else here. Who, though? I don't know, but maybe we can find out. Take a sample of that blood, though. Maybe we can at least find out what species the attacker is. Got it. One more save. Doesn't look like engineering was damaged at all. Aside from the dead crew members. Hopefully there's something here. Looks like she was stabbed in the back. She was probably at her console when she was attacked. All systems look perfectly functional. Looks like she was shot. These wounds are like burns from our blasters. Do our people do this? But why would they? If it were the agents, I'd believe it, but we can't jump to conclusions. Let's just keep looking for now. All systems look perfectly functional. We, ha we might have an idea of what happened here now. Someone disabled the surveillance satellites in the sector, then got on board the ship. Then they killed everyone on board before escaping. It could also be a team of assassins. Hopefully the blood sample we uh, took will reveal who it is. For now, let's... Captain, we have a situation here. We need you on the bridge right away. I'm on our way. Ah, oh, goddamn. That's a Federation carrier. They completely outclass us. Ma'am, they're hailing us. Put them through. This is the Rear Admiral Nixie of Federation Car uh, Carrier Yukimi. I demand an explanation for the massacre at the tra treaty signing. God damn it, I knew something like this would happen. This is Captain Kimi of the Imperial Cruiser Agadashi. I assure that you are shocked as you are about what happened. 
We've only just arrived recently to investigate, just like you. There is evidence that we will conduct our own investigation. You will hold position until it's complete. Captain, there's an energy surge coming from the diplomatic ship. What? What have you done? Wait, that wasn't us. And you expect us to believe you? Surrender immediately and prepare to be boarded or be destroyed. What would you do, Captain? We might be able to jump away, but... Uh -huh. I kind of... I mean, I really did see this coming, but... Um, should we surrender? Or try to get away? I mean, yeah, I did just save, so we won't last long enough against them. Rear Admiral Nixie, we're standing down. But I want assurances that my crew will be treated properly. I have no obligations to do so. But since you're being cooperative, I will grant you that much. Prepare to be boarded. I thought you looked familiar when I saw you. You were leading the raid on our outpost in Elise Gamma, weren't you? But you didn't kill any of the civilians there. I didn't think you foxes would show mercy like that. I'm glad I was wrong. We need all the help we can get, so whatever you know would be great. Like I told you earlier, we were sent here to investigate the disaster. All the satellites have been disabled, and when we docked, we found the crew and diplomats dead. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary, except our people were killed by Imperial weapons, and yours by Federation weapons. What? It's most likely a ruse by whoever is responsible for to throw us off. Probably yes, but we still don't know who did this. I see. Thank you for your help. We will conduct our own investigation and report to our people. In the meantime, please wait here. Now what? I don't think I'm in any danger, but I don't like just sitting here. Just a toilet. It's pretty standard. This is what they serve their enemies? Most of our people eat less than this. Simple bed. There's nothing special about it. I guess the only thing I can do for now is sleep. Hmm. I'll check the door first. Not yet. There has to be something I can do. It's locked, of course. I don't think I can get it open. Yeah. Alright. It's been over a day. Hope everyone's okay. We finished our investigation. And? What you said about the satellites appears to be true. But with the diplomatic vessel destroyed, there's no way you can verify what you said about the diplomats. Analysis of the blood sample you pro uh, provided was also inconclusive. There were too many contaminants. I'd say I have no reason to lie to you, but that's not exactly true. But I'll say that we want peace as much as you do. That's one thing we can agree on. The second round of negotiations is being arranged. It's a gesture of goodwill. You and your ship will be returned. I hope nothing happens this time. For the sake of both our peoples, I hope so too. That went significantly better than I thought it was going to. Goodbye, Captain Kimi. Maybe next time we can meet under better circumstances. Tragedy at the treating siding made it difficult to restart negotiations. With no clear perpetrator, neither side could fu uh, fully trust each other, and peace was no longer possible. However, the extreme number of losses on both sides, especially of the male population, began to threaten the continued existence of both species. As such, both the Galactic Galaxian Empire and the United Bunny Federation were first to agree upon a series of rules for engagement to ensure their continued survival. The four main rules are both sides must rely only on the use of non-lethal weaponry. All incapacitated combatants must be returned and treated after battle. Hostages are to be exchanged at regular intervals. Neither side may contact or recruit third parties or other civilizations. These rules of engagement came to be known as the Delta Cephe Convention, in honor of the diplomats who lost their lives in the initial treaty signing. 
An armistice lasting half a year was enforced to allow time for both sides to rework their militaries. Six months later. Let's see here. The new weapons have been installed and distributed. Functionally the same as our old equipment, with the exception that they're now non-lethal. We're still at war, armistice aside. I'm glad our people aren't dying anymore, but this just feels off. I can't shake the feeling that this is just the calm before the storm. Captain Kimi, are you and your crew ready? Admiral Katina, I repeat, are you and your crew ready? Y yes, ma'am. Good. We're sending you on several uncharted sectors. And my mission? The Empire and the Federation can't be the only civilizations in the galaxy. You are seek any. You are seek out any other civilizations to see what you can learn about them. But what about the Delta Cephe Convention? I know you're young, but you can't afford to be naive, Kimi. Peace is just preparation for the next war. Do you think the Federation is really just standing by? Besides, you are not con you are not contacting any other civilizations you find, simply observing them. And keep an eye out for Federation ships too. They have the same idea. Understood, Admiral. I'm not sure about this. But orders are orders. Are you ready to go, Captain? Yes, I guess. All hands, this is the Captain. Our mission will be to take us to uncharted sectors where we search for other advanced civilizations. I will clarify that they were not going to break the Delta Cephei Convention. We are going to see if any exist and keep an eye on them. We are also going to keep an eye out on Federation ships who are doing the same thing we are. Helm, lock in coordinates and engage. Yes, ma'am. Space sure is a whole bunch of nothing, isn't it? A few plants, some celestial bodies, but nothing. But generally, that's the case. Well, I guess that's about right. We're coming up on one of the plants now, ma'am. Let's get started, then. One of the plants' moons. It's completely barren, but it does have some minerals that could be useful. We'll send the coordinates back to High Command. Maybe we can set up a mining outpost here. Planet's moons, just a barren doll of dust by the looks of it. This planet is highly unstable, plenty of storms and dangerous gases. Definitely no intelligent life here. Captain, we're detecting a Federation ship near the next planet. I guess the Admiral was right. Engage them. Yes, ma'am. One of the plant spoons. No sign of life now or ever. <laughs> okay. Unidentified Federation ship. You're in violation of the Delta Cephe Convention. Surrender immediately. They're firing on us, Captain. Return fire. Mm, Forget that's a new design. I have to admit, this is kind of uh, what I always wanted in a, uh, R uh, a Star Trek-style RPG. <laughs> Federation frigate has been disabled, ma'am. Prepare to board. We're taking it over. Yes, ma'am. We got hostiles, Captain. Get to cover.
And yeah, I don't really trust that Admiral either. I don't know if it's just the design, but they have been hiding her ears too, which seems kind of odd. I'm spreading out damage too much. I need to stop doing that. Okie doke. Yeah, um, you'd think that would be taken advantage of more, though. <laughs> oh, I didn't really need to use a focus shot. Uh. Yeah, I also would like um, full anthro, but I don't, uh, I don't know. It's not something I expect in a video game, you know? Victoria has 1,900 experience. Jean is now level 18. That's it then. Secure the ship and bring the crew members on board. Got it, Kimi. Why would we be trying to break this Delta Cephe convention? We worked so hard to get it signed on in the first place. Then what were you doing? I told you we were searching for new plans to colonize. Then why didn't you say so before firing on us? Why should I? We're at war. You told us to surrender. Of course we thought we'd fight back. This isn't getting any this isn't getting anywhere. We'll just have to see. Keep an eye on them. We've only been out here for less than a week and we've already ran already ran into the enemy. There wasn't anything particularly interesting on the frigate though. We we're mostly carrying scientific equipment. But they also did but they also did have plenty of weapons. Well, I guess it's possible the captain was telling the truth. Either way, we can't really continue mission carrying the prisoners and confiscated equipment. I guess we could rendezvous with the transport and transfer them over. But first, I could really use a nap. Well, the mission didn't really go as planned. Or maybe it did, since we did stop the Federation from establishing new colonies. Definitely how, definitely how I expected it to go, though. Maybe now's a good time to make a journal entry. Write a journal entry? Yes. It wasn't even a long day. But for some reason, I feel exhausted. Maybe trying to interrogate that Federation captain was more tiring than I thought. I guess I should leave it to the professionals. For now. Time for a nap? Yeah. Nighty night. Squiggle. Save game. Oh, um, that seems like maybe a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> I was going to cut it off here, but should I continue? You can't just title your chapter Earth.
So I have one vote to continue and one vote to stop here. I need a tiebreaker. All right, continue then. Four months after signing the Delta Cephe Convention. <sighs> we've been here for a few months already. All we're doing, all we've done, is just sit here. I don't even know what, what we're doing here. The people here are barely a Type One civilization. What is it they call themselves? Humans? Yes, ma'am. They call the planet Earth. It doesn't look like they even have a reliable method of space travel yet. Well, the intel we have states that the Federation is watching them. So maybe there's something special about them? Maybe. I think we're more here to watch the Federation instead of these humans. Anything new? No, ma'am. Just random chatter from the humans. Uh, at least sometimes they have interesting broadcasts. It's just too bad we can only hit fragments of this far out. Captain, we've got some activity. Another launch? They're persistent, I'll give them that. No, ma'am, this time it looks like a Federation ship. What? That ship is definitely coming from the planet's surface. Oh. It appears to have uh, be hidden from the humans, but we can detect it on our sensors. Hmm. It's too small to be operating on its own. Maybe they have a support on the planet's moon? Maybe. Keep an eye on it. That's a Federation mobile outpost. I don't think the Federation would have such a presence here. They're approaching us, ma'am. Do they know we're here? It doesn't seem like it. They're just coming in our direction. Good. Hide behind one of the moons and get ready for uh, ambush. Wait for it. A little more. A little more. Now! Alright. This is definitely not the uh, direction I expected... Uh, The enemy ship has been disabled. Excellent. Gene, fucks with me. <laughs> We're boarding now. Boarding the base. Got it, Kimi. We're in. Looks like they put up some barricades. We'll find a way around. Yep, they're not going to stop us from getting to the humans. I assume they'd be in prison. Let's get moving. Yes, Captain. Let's do this. To be fair, we are all using non-lethal weapons now. However that works. Fiery death lasers are completely non-lethal. There's bound to be more later. Stay on guard. More marines up ahead. Ah. 
On the plus side, I'm able to handle these enemies a lot easier now. Fox is now level 18. They're putting up quite a fight. Yes, we should settle our differences by... Oh, this looks like a droid storage? There's a lot of them. Luckily, it looks like they're offline. We should stay here any longer than we have to, though. Oh. So much for offline. Oh, well, it's only these type. Both civilizations should come together <laughs> and host a uh, weekly slap fight contest. And the winner of whoever lasts throughout all the slap fighting wins the Galactic War. It's just the most civilized way to handle it. To be fair, what concepts hasn't League of Legends ruined? I mean, they do seem rather actively dedicated to uh, ruining concepts. More in... Oh, jeez. That's fair. Okay, there are some things that it has not ruined. Barely. But their association with the game itself doesn't help. His party was victorious. 1200 experience. Level 19. Okay. Was this an optional path or. Um...
Fuck's maybe interested in uh, the sciences, but she is really bad at telling when uh, droids are actually inactive and just, uh, you know, just waiting for a target. I'm probably going to end up having to fight every single drone in storage. Also, the door seems to have disappeared once I once the fight starts. Is that it? Looks that way. Quickly, before more droids get deactivated. Let's see what we have here. UBF snacks. This could be useful. UBF grenades. UBF automatic rifle. Oh, I like this. Let's see how this weapons compares. This console in case we activate more droids. Alright, I should probably check to see... Ah, uh, the attack is lower. Hmm. Kind of odd, actually. Snack used by the Federation, not very tasty to foxes. Yeah, that was an optional fight. <laughs> More enemies. Yes, they have they have carrots uh, stigled on their armor. I, you know, I'm not sure those were always there. I think they might have been, but I didn't really notice before. Party 1500 experience. Fox is now level 19. <laughs> it's like putting hamburgers all over American soldiers. <laughs> uh, okay, but imagine camouflage that uses hamburger patterns instead of. Uh,
Alright, that's clearly the place I need to go, I think. So, oh, that is the prison. Free the humans! Let's not free the humans. Let's immediately exit the room. That's the secret. Half of the Bunny Federation's uh, soldiers are actually just humans with uh, bunny ears taped to their heads. That's clearly got to be the source of all their soldiers. Oh, I guess I know where they came from. Hang on, we'll get out of there in a second. Alright, I'm going to backtrack to the last room that was there. So it leaves the bridge, but it's sealed up tight. Breaching charge won't cut it for a door like this. Luckily, that's not what we're here for. Okay, I guess I can't go that way. This console's been locked down. Let's see what we have here. Nothing useful. Two UBF grenades. Not bad at all. Useful. The UBF snack. Wait, is she? Okay. Let's go to laser controls. Turn off the laser. Hmm. Is a universal translator broken? Wait, now they have a universal translator? Alright. It just needs a moment. We should be able to understand them soon. Are we. What is this place? There we go. You're on a Federation spaceship. Do you know how you got here? I'm not sure. I was just minding my own business when suddenly I blacked out and found myself here. Me too. I was just walking home when suddenly I found myself here. I think it's pretty clear you've been kidnapped by the, by the Federation then. Wait, who are you? We're from the Galactic Foxian Empire. Enemy of the people who kidnapped you. You guys want to go home? We can take you back. Of course, thank you. Okay, just put these on. it will take you back to your ship. Agadashi, lock on the signals and for four transponders. Transport when ready. Successful mission. Let's get going, moving. Helm set course for... Federation ship has recovered, Captain. The jump drive has been disabled. We probably won't be able to beat them like... Okay. We probably won't be able to beat them like before, now that their guard's up. Full speed to Earth. They're following us. Oh! Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> um... Okay, I think I'm going to uh, call it there for, uh... Space Fox Kimi for the night. 